हेलो माई सेल्फ सुनील कलशेट्टी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वोल्टेज कंट्रोल इन इन्वर्टर्स लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स कैन एनालाइज वोल्टेज कंट्रोल इन इन्वर्टर्स नो वाय द वोल्टेज कंट्रोल इज इसेंशियल the voltage control is essential due to the following reasons in voltage source inverter ac output voltage depends upon the dc input voltage if load demands for fixed ac voltage the inverter must provide it even though there are variation in the input dc voltage here voltage control is essential to compensate the variations in input dc voltage so as to provide fixed ac output voltage voltage control is essential for the voltage regulation of inverter under various loading condition if inverter supplies induction motor for speed control then voltage control is essential now the control over the output voltage of inverter can be obtained by the following two ways one is external control another is the internal control so external control is again divided in two types externally controlling ac output voltage and externally controlling dc input voltage now the ac output voltage of the inverter can be controlled externally by the following methods ac voltage control and series inverter control now this is the block diagram of the ac voltage control here the input is constant dc and the load requires the controlled ac voltage now here the ac voltage controller is connected in between the inverter and load the load voltage is controlled by controlling the firing angle of the ac voltage controller as the harmonics is produced in the output voltage so this method is used only for low power application series inverter control in this method output voltage of two or more inverters are connected in series with the help of transformers so the required output voltage is obtained from the phasor sum of individual output here both inverter produces output voltage at same frequency but they are displaced from each other by the angle theta the resultant load voltage is given by vl is equal to v1 v1 square plus v2 square plus 2 v1 v2 cos theta raised to half series inverter control is also called as a multiple inverter control it does not increase the harmonic content in the output voltage even at low output voltages now externally controlling the dc input voltage now refer the figure a now in this figure a the output of battery is connected to the input of inverter and the inverter is connected to the ac voltage controller and the ac voltage controller produces the controlled ac voltage now in this methodology for obtaining the controlled ac voltage vary the firing angle of the ac voltage controller so as the firing angle changes according to that ac voltage changes so it is 
possible to control the AC voltage. Now refer the figure B. For obtaining the controlled DC voltage, vary the duty cycle of the chopper. So as the duty cycle of the chopper changes, according to that output voltage changes in this way, in this way controlled DC is possible. Refer the figure C. Now in the figure C, the controlled DC voltage is obtained by changing the firing angle of the controlled rectifier. So, according to that output output DC voltage changes. Now, refer the figure D. Now, in the figure D, the controlled DC voltage is obtained by changing the firing angle of the AC voltage controller. The output of AC voltage controller is applied to the uncontrolled rectifier and if there are any ripples, that ripples are minimized with the help of filter. In this way, controlled DC is obtained. Now, refer the figure E. Now, in the figure E, the controlled DC is obtained by changing the duty cycle of the chopper. Now, these methods have an advantage that the harmonic content and the output voltage waveform are not affected appreciably. As output is not directly controlled, it is controlled through the control over the input DC voltage. Drawbacks Additional converter stages resulting more losses and low efficiency. Filters are required to remove the ripples from the input DC supply to inverter and it makes the transient response sluggish. Internal control method. Now, the output voltage of inverter can be controlled by controlling the operation of inverter itself. The control is within inverter itself. In the external control method, the control is external, but here the control is within inverter itself. In this method, on and off periods are adjusted to control the output voltage. The PWM technique has the following advantages. Output voltage control is obtained without any additional stages. Along with voltage control, lower order harmonics can be eliminated or minimized. Now, the PWM technique requires fast acting SCRs having low turn on and turn off time which are costly. So why the internal control technique is more popular? The, with help of internal control, not only it controls the output voltage, at the same time it minimizes the harmonics. That is why the internal control technique is more popular. PWM techniques. The harmonic content in the output AC voltage of inverter can be reduced by using the PWM technique, pulse width modulation technique. The most commonly used PWM techniques are single pulse modulation, multiple pulse modulation, sinusoidal pulse modulation and phase displacement control. So, let us see single pulse modulation. In this technique, there is only one pulse per half cycle and the width of pulse is varied to control the inverter output voltage. The output voltage of inverter can be controlled by controlling the width of pulse. This figure shows the gate signal and the output voltage waveform for the single phase bridge inverter. Now, these two are the gate pulses and this is the output of the single phase bridge inverter. Now, in this methodology, the gate signal is generated by comparing the reference signal 
with triangular carrier signal and the at the intersection point the pulse is produced the width of gate pulse can be varies from 0 to 180 degree by controlling the reference signal from 0 to vr so this will control the output voltage of inverter expression for rms output voltage so vrms is equal to 2 upon pi limits of integration pi minus delta by 2 to the pi plus delta by 2 edc square d omega t raised to half so edc under root delta upon pi here delta is the pulse width how to control the rms output voltage of inverter using single pulse modulation technique now in this single pulse modulation technique as the pulse width changes from 0 to pi the rms voltage it changes from 0 to vs in this way by controlling the pulse width the output voltage of inverter is changes so in this way it is possible to control the rms output voltage so these are references thank you